opportunity um, for businesses to get back to the basics and make sure that um, you know they're managing their cash flow and being conservative with it. Right. Um, yeah, which will also set them up for times like now where there are some programs that the government is providing. Um, you know, I have clients that are already getting approved for a lot of these loans, and it's because they were able to just, oh, I have everything completely organized and ready to go. And they, you know, it was the easy breezy application process. Their credit was in good standings. They already have a, had an established relationship with a banker. Mm -hmm. um, so it was just a very like easy process. Um, so there's a lot to pick up from that too. Yeah. And, and I want to um, definitely get, cause I know, you know, all the details of, of these programs and I want to get into that, but I want to just step back a minute to what you were saying about having three months of, of savings um, in, in reserve. Um, I want to just ask, I'm sure you hear this from clients and the obvious question that I think would come up with for people is I'm already, you know, running so tight. How can I possibly find that money to put into reserve? Which I think is a lot of the reason that people don't do it. Mm -hmm. But what do you tell them when they tell you they can't do that? Yeah. So that opens up the, um, the analysis of your business model. So you should be able to do that if your pricing is correct, if your spending is in alignment with how much you're bringing in, um, you should be able to be putting money aside every month. Okay. So if you're not, then that's where you can, you know, take a step back and look and see, okay, well, maybe I need to increase my pricing or look at ways I can do things, you know, for a, a less, um, a cheaper way or, you know, there's all kinds of ways to, um, to analyze that. But I think that would be like the first thing I would do.